Is there anything beyond choice? Um, the question is really one of levels of consciousness. <clears throat> At a certain level of consciousness, choice is quite possible. It's more hypothetical than real, but it is also, it is also real. There are certain levels where choice is not possible. In the highest realms, no choice is going on. Everything is happening of its own as an expression of mm, what in Sanskrit is called the purusha, the presence of God within as self, which is manifesting through the human physicality as, let's say, this speakingness, the speakingness. There's no choice involved in this speakingness. It's, it happens of its own. And um, so there are varying levels. So as we go up the higher levels of consciousness, we'll get to that. So forgiveness, acceptance, reason, you come up to lovingness, which is the realm of most interest to spiritual people. Spiritual people are worried about how to get over the ego, how to get over the guilt of the ego, et cetera, and despair over it, and how to get to love. Love is at 500, and it's a whole different domain. Love is really the dawning of the light of the presence of God within human consciousness in the nonlinear domain. At 500, you're well beyond the Newtonian. The Newtonian really reigns up through reason. 500 now, re, uh, at 500, there's a different, the nonlinear begins to take precedence. It's lovingness that makes the decisions that is the background of your decision, lights up your decisions. And most people in spiritual communities, spiritual work groups such as this and others, are committed to reaching 540. 540 is unconditional love. That's the, um, the saint. Uh, the saint is actually 575. But un unconditional love calibrates at 540. That's what we all strive for. Most people in the spiritual work strive first for love and are delighted with it. And then the energy of that love leads them to drive on and they despair over any limitation. 